solve this equation, x is a real number. By rearranging the equation, we can now write 10.5 x to the power of 6 equals 5 to the power of 0 0.3 x. Clearly, x equals 0 isn't a solution. Case 1. If x is less than 0, we got y equal minus x. Then y is greater than 0. So now equation 1 can be written as 10.5 times minus y all to the power of 6 equals 5 to the power of minus 0.3y minus y all to the power of 6 is equal to y to the power of 6. Now we take lin on both sides of the equation. 10.5y to the power of 6 is equal to the 6th root of 10.5y all to the power of 6. Log to the base b x to the power of n equals n log to the base b x. By applying this, we can now write 6 lin the 6th root of 10.5y equals minus 0.3y lin 5. By rearranging the equation, we can now write lin the 6th root of 10.5y over y equals 0.3 times lin 5 over 6. 1 over y can be written as y to the power of minus 1 minus 0.3 over 6 is equal to minus 0.05. y to the power of minus 1 can be written as e to the power of lin y to the power of minus 1. By applying this rule, e to the power of lin y to the power of minus 1 is equal to e to the power of minus lin y. Here we have lin the 6th root of 10.5y. Here we have minus lin y. So we multiply the equation by e to the power of minus lin the 6th root of 10.5 a to the power of m times a to the power of n can be written as a to the power of m plus n log to the base b x y equals log to the base b x plus log to the base b y. By applying these, e to the power of minus lim the sixth root of 10.5 times e to the power of minus in y is equal to e to the power of minus lin the sixth root of 10.5 y. Now we multiply the equation by minus 1. We take the Lambert W function on both sides of the equation w of minus lin, the sixth root of 10.5y times e to the power of minus lin, the sixth root of 10.5y is equal to minus lin, the sixth root of 10.5y. So y equals e to the power of minus w of naught point naught five lin five e to the power of minus lin the sixth root of ten point five over the sixth 
roots of 10.5, which is approximately equal to 0.6418. So x1 is approximately equal to minus 0.6418. Is two if x is greater than zero. Now we take lin on both sides of the equation. Ten point five x to the power of six can be written as the six root of ten point five x all to the power of six. Lin the six root of ten point five x all to the power of 6 is equal to 6 lin the 6th root of 10.5 arcs lin 5 to the power of 0 0.3 arcs is equal to 0 0.3 arcs lin 5. By rearranging the equation, we can now write lin the 6th root of 10.5 arcs over x equals 0 0.3 times lin 5 over 6. 1 over x can be written as x to the power of minus 1. 0 0.3 over 6 is 0 0.05. x to the power of minus 1 can be written as e to the power of lin x to the power of minus 1 e to the power of lin x to the power of minus 1 is equal to e to the power of minus lin x. Here we have lin the sixth root of 10.5 arcs. Here we have minus lin x. So we multiply the equation by e to the power of minus lin the sixth root of 10.5 e to the power of minus lin the sixth root of 10.5 times e to the power of minus lin x is equal to e to the power of minus lin the sixth root of 10.5 arx. We multiply the equation by minus 1. Now we take the Lambert study function on both sides of the equation. The left hand side of the equation is equal to minus lin the sixth root of 10.5 arx. So arx equals e to the power of minus w of minus 0 0.05 lin 5 e to the power of minus lin, the sixth root of 10.5 over the sixth root of 10.5 because minus 0 0.05 lin 5 is the power of minus lin, the sixth root of 10.5 is approximately equal to minus 0 0.054 minus 1 over e is approximately equal to minus 0 0.368. So minus 0 0.054 is in the open interval minus 1 over e, 0. So the Lambert's W function has two branches. W0 of 0 0.05 lin 5 e to the power of minus lin the sixth root of 10.5 is approximately equal to minus 0 0.0576 w minus 1 of minus 0 0.05 lin 5 e to the power of minus lin the sixth root of 10.5 is approximately equal to minus 4.3914. So x2 is approximately equal to 0 0.7158. x3 is approximately equal to 
0.5705. So there are three solutions, including x1 from case one. Now we have an additional problem. Solve this equation. Ask is a real number. Thank you.